Please welcome the longtime respected veteran contender known as Mini Burgos, introducing Juan Carlos Burgos. Here is the hard hitting southpaw known as El Poli, introducing Starling Castillo. He's, again, he's got 12 knockouts in his 15 fights. See, like that. That's the type of punch that he uh, got his uh, his uh, uh, last fight with was a little sweeping left hand and uh, was just vicious. He's throwing punches from different angles. He also throws that left left hand, you know, sometimes wide, but also sometimes straight as well. Long way to go here. Ten full rounds. Starling Castillo undefeated. Burgos, though, very game, very tough. Interesting opening round. Does everything else right-handed except box. So, um, you know, that left... Ooh, man. <laughs> Just yeah. by Burgos. But he, he's a strong puncher with either hand, Castillo. Yeah. Burgos is doing the right thing. He's picking his moments to try and get in on Castillo. He knows he has to go in and hit to the body. Yeah. But, and he's trying some overhand uh, looping punches as well. Oh, that one caught... Uh, Castillo, uh, but uh, yeah, he, he's throwing great combinations right now, and this is what he needs to do against Castillo. It's on short notice, good body work there by Castillo. Backs Burgos up. Good action now. Castillo has his man back it up and into the corner, and he strafes him with a right hook. And that's what I like about Castillo, Brian. See, he took a lot of flack right there from Burgos, got hit with some good body shots, got pressed to the ropes, and then he said, oh, yeah, watch. And he turned that round on Burgos and came out firing uh, with both hands. Uh, I, 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 that's what I like about this kid. No, that was good. good exchange so far. Look, kind of a, the over, like a looping left hand coming over the top from Castillo. And Burgos goes back to work on the body. And right. Castillo answers immediately. That's about a seven-punch combination. Not so bad. Look at this again. Three-punch combination. Finishes up with the left hand. Uh, and he's standing his ground saying, All right, you want to fight? We'll fight some more. I'm right here. A long way to go. Final seconds of round number six. But Burgos has been through many a war of attrition. Some he wins, some he loses. But he always hey! brings it. Yeah, well, there's a couple of he-men going in here right now. I got to tell you, this has been a really, really good fight and very competitive fight. Uh, you know, I mean, look, I, I, I think you could give Burgos a lot of credit in some of these rounds, especially the last couple where he did a lot of hustling work. You know, he, he's been hustling right now. Like he came out hustling right here, and he should have never turned his back right there to the ropes, I thought, Burgos. I mean, he just gave Castillo an opportunity. He should keep Berg, uh, Castillo's back to the ropes, but um, this has been very competitive and a, and a great learning experience, I, guess, I guarantee you, for Castillo. No. Look, look at Burgos get in on the inside after he was kept out by the jab, then he lands a couple of punches to the body, immediately goes back up to the head. Again, these last two rounds have been a little better for Burgos, although Castillo landed. And I'm going to tell you, he had a good round this round, uh, and, and uh, look, I think this fight is tightening up, to tell you the truth. Could be, and Marcos Viega sees it that way, and uh, certainly Burgos part of the uh, He-Man Body Snatchers Club. How about that? Hey! Salute to. <laughs> He's in there with a, a tricky guy. Dude, Ramos had never gone ten rounds before. Well, that's a Lennox, you know, that's a level of concentration you've got to get to, including like Starling Castillo here, where there is constant pressure from Burgos, and you have to learn how to deal with that. Yeah, you got to get over that hump. I'm as well, obviously, uh, supremely well-conditioned. Uh, yes. Not an issue, but it is a level of concentration, Lennox, that you do have to bring in here and, and keep up for a longer period of time. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's got to focus. He's got to think about a couple different things, getting caught against the ropes, uh, getting caught with body shots, and getting caught with, you know, uh, overhand rights or any any sh shot like that. So he's got to keep his defense in check when he's boxing. Crowd got excited there as uh, Burgos able to send Castillo back toward the ropes. See the smile from Burgos. And that's, uh, mo most guys will uh, show a lot of game and they get hit and they smile. Burgos actually smiles and I think enjoys this. He, he just relishes the combat. I mean, Burgos just landed, you know, five, six, seven body shots. He's touching you somewhere along the line. Like that nice little step back counter hook. Upper cut, right hand. Oh, 
Go. Uh, well, you know what, Joe? You, with, with Juan Carlos Burgos, you get what you pay for. Ah! for him. This is awesome. Well, he's, 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 he's got some he good got, shots, though. Joe, to your point, Burgos is able to rock him here. Right. That's I mean, what I'm saying. He's able to spin his head around a little more. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. You know, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> he's not leaving it in the bag. He's, he's definitely yeah. giving it all. You know, he's throwing a lot of punches this fight, and he's continuing. Still throwing punches with it. Long left hand from Castillo, and that landed nicely. But he's eating a lot of shots. Uppercut from Burgos. That landed. Well, he's, he's, he's he got some he good got, shots, though. Joe, to your point, Burgos is able to rock him here. Right. That's I mean, what I'm saying. He's able to spin his head around a little more. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. You know, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> he's not leaving it in the bag. He's, he's definitely yeah. giving it all. You know, he's throwing a lot of punches this fight, and he's continuing. Still throwing punches with it. Long left hand from Castillo, and that landed nicely. But he's eating a lot of shots. Uppercut from Burgos. That landed. Final 35 seconds of this fight. You better believe Burgos still better throwing. Better. Combination lands the uppercut as well. Now to the body. Good body shots. Right hand lands from Castillo. They are moving each other around, slugging to the belt. Look at this. Great last round. Castillo backs up. He looks hurt. Yeah, so he looks. He looks a little winded, a little shaken, but he's able to move his head. Ten and get seconds to the belt. Final seconds, and they're throwing everything they have left. Wow. Right. Castillo with a flourish. Great fight. At the belt. Good effort, and that is an, an out, outstanding effort by both fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are our score totals. Our judge of ringside, Mike Fitzgerald, scores about 96 to 94. Robert Hecko sees it 97-93. And Joseph Mason scores the action 98 to 92. All three in favor of the winner. And still undefeated, El Poli, Starley. All the best boxing content follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.